Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, generate a port using C++, LaTeX and the new port. So uh, in the C++, we are going to uh, generate a data file and we can use that data file to uh, to generate a graph by using the um, new port and LaTeX. And the graph, you has, the graph by itself has a very high quality. Uh, it's very beautiful, the, the figure. You, it can be used for publish publication. Um, yeah, so here in the C++, uh, so in this program, we are going to generate a data file and today we are going to uh, port a Gaussian function. So this function, this equation here is basically the Gaussian, Gaussian function. And this part of the code here is uh, Basically, what it does is that it uh gen it save the data data from the calculation into a text file a, a data text file, and yeah, so so here in this for loop we can see that um we uh use this function and we save this function to a particular variable, and then we um save these two variables into the files, and in this text file we are going to use like this this is the data we are going to use for the port so let's go ahead and run this program on the terminal yeah so after after we have run this program we will compile this we will see that there's a, a port this one this file here is different color compared to to the script this file like this two has has different color because this one can be run by a computer so we go ahead and run this oh i forgot to mention one thing is that because in this program i have added a very interesting feature is that um, here we have to put uh we have to enter two inputs into the program because like we need to define the width of the uh, Gaussian function and also the peak position of the Gaussian functions so we say let's say the, the first argument is the uh, peak, uh, the peak width which is the sigma so we want the sigma to be 1 and the peak position to be 0 the second argument is the peak position basically so we run this again and there will be a text file generated you can see that there's a text file generated here so we are going to use this text file for our ports um, we can we can we can generate our port using the new port so in the new ports we basically need to uh, enter a bunch of commands such that you uh, it will generate a figures but here we are going to use latex to uh, Port our graph. So in the new port, we are we we run we give the new port a bunch of commands that it will generate a latex file. And in the latex file, we we after we got the latex file, we use the MacTag compiler to uh the MacTag here. Oh sorry, the tag maker, uh, the tag maker to like um generate the PDF file and we have the figures. So uh here this is this this part of the code. This these are the commands uh, in the GNU port. So the first one we told uh, we tell the GNU port that we want to uh, use the data environments, and this define the uh, width and the height of the figure, which we want to use is four inch and three inch. The height is three inch and the width is four inch, and this two is the uh, x range and the y range. We set that to a particular number and a Y label and X label and remember that we need to put a dollar sign here to let because we have used the latex environment so we need to use the dollar sign here and we set the output file to be port.tdx the latex file and because we are going to port it as a line we want to use a line to port it so uh, we set the uh, line type the 9 type to be 1 and the 9 width to be 2 this is the pawn size we set it to 0 
this doesn't matter actually the pawn type because we have set this pawn side to be zero so it doesn't matter and this three commands basically is uh, dealing with the uh, the legend in the graph so and finally report the data here yeah report the data finally and then we this like it will generate a port dot tex you will see how it works so let's run this using a new port yeah a port dot tex should be generated here you can see that and we are going to run this tag this file we are going to run this and here we are that's how we are going to run so uh, we prepare the later documents here we we set it to be a stat standalone document types such that it will generate the, the PDF generated will be the as will be ha will has the same size as the figure we want to have like 4 inch and 3 inch the width is 4 inch the height is 3 inch yeah basically it's, it's like that so let's run this so you see that it is very beautiful. The this is a figure we we generated. It's in PDF. However, it's in PDF. If you want to have, if you want it to be uh to be in PNG, it's so simple. Just go to the terminal and convert this. Convert this uh quality to be. Factor and then test Yeah, there will be a PNG here like here But the quality is not that good because I forgot one command. I need to know it up. So density, yeah. You set the density to be three hundred. It will be better. Yeah, let's see. So Gaussian, like PNG file, it looks good. Yeah. So this is the uh, shell shell script I prepared because. You can see that I separate the like the data I want to, I want to port this data but I need to separate it into three steps. One the first step is to generate the data file using C program and then use the GNU port to generate the text, the TX file. And then finally we port the graph uh using TechMaker. And this three step like it time cons so time so much time consuming. So I prepare this shell script such that we can do that instantly. Yeah, the, you can see the, this shell script here. And it just do basically do the thing I have already done before. Yeah, generate figure here. Yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you for watching.